Has anyone guessed the, the guest yet? Guess guess Has anyone guessed the guest yet? No. I haven't seen it, no. I have to reread it. I need to get my eyes tested. <laughs> yeah, no, who wants to borrow my shades? We could go to Arby's, yeah. Who's I've got my reading glasses, but that's for yeah. this class. Cool, so no one's guessed the guest, but I reckon let's go to our guest. Maybe it's someone, if you guessed it way you back when, just tell us. We'll it's believe a, it's, you. It's long ago as well, you know. So many things have happened since those pioneering days with the likes of this dude with his first forum. Well, who is our guest? Eh? Well, he goes by lots of names. He, he's uh, Jonsen Chris. And... Uh, he's uh, Chris with a letter J, and he's a Chris with a J-A-Y, and he's a cannabis promoter, mm -hmm. which is 420 Pro or Canna Pro, and <coughs> what he is, is a, he's a reclusive old fart on a farm in, uh, in the Eastern Cape, and it's, we've, we've, we're absolutely blessed to have him. It's taken a long time to get this guy in the show, because um, mm. he did leave town suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there he is. Oh, there, there's Chris now, and that's his, uh, well, in, his in his lounge in his farm, and he's been pioneering away for a few years now, away from Joe Berg, and he's still very much a ganja man. And you can see he's got a ri white rhino shirt on there, and uh, white rhino is his baby, really. And if you ever remember the likes going way back to Nguni seeds and stuff, yeah. this man was a breeder that had many fingers in the pies of that. So. It's quite cool to have the cannabis promoter, a.k.a. Jonsen Chris, a.k.a. Chris J and Chris J in the house. Chris! Hello, bro. Good evening, Jules. Thanks for blowing my cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we know how you start all the trolling late at night, because you're basically just talking to yourself. I probably am. Sometimes I'm sure I, I, I have been talking to myself. I think once I was caught logged in, trying to log into my weed.coza, Forum 15 times out of six times that I could try. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you just gave the game away because everyone's been trying to guess what the original thread was, and everyone's too young watching the Hotbox show. It's like from another generation ago. Mm. But we.co.za was the very first forum, and that's kind of how I met you, and that's how there's other people watching on this thread I see that kind of introduced me to you. And it's not that long ago because you've you still got the same dog. He's getting quite old, but he's still got the same dog. It was good to see him the other week. He's sitting right here next to me, as always. Is that a plant in the background? Is that a plant in the background? Yeah, it's just a plastic, uh, plastic plant. No way. Oh, like cannabis. Okay, well, um, the, re the reason I pressured you to come on the show <laughs> is basically uh, during the week you sent me this really classic uh, flyer for your local agricultural show. And it took me a while yes. to figure out. It took me a while to figure out that you weren't joking. That you were actually trying to exhibit cannabis sativa bushes at the local show for prizes alongside epic tomatoes and leeks and stuff. Is that how I've got? Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's dead right, Jules. It started off actually as a joke, just like you thought I was joking. Um, I was entering my eggs into um, agricultural show. It's a hundred and eleventh. Um, agricultural in Bathurst, thousands of, of farmers and people from around the area of South Africa attend. Um, there's, there's lawnmower races, there's show jumping, there's um, animals on auction, animals on show, and there, there was a couple categories. And in the section that I chose, which was section um, one, where you, uh, cats typically could enter six eggs, which was my initial um, entry with, with Maritza, my girlfriend. There were a couple other uh, places you could enter, and that was 11, 12, 13, a collection of green culinary herbs, fruits, vegetables, vegetable, fruits, biggest vegetables, um, novelty fruits, etc. So I just laughed at, at Maritza and said, we should enter cannabis, it's, it's our legal right. Um, and one thing led to another, uh, and, and yeah, got it entered into two categories, negotiated a... Uh, um, I said I would like to enter into six categories, and um, yeah, I did. I entered, eventually entered into two, with two live plants as well as a display cabinet. <laughs> That's wow. really, you're, you're still pioneering, Brent. That's a really funny <laughs> story. <laughs> so um, well, it, it actually is. It, it really is because cannabis, hemp, marijuana, whatever you want to call it, is actually the oldest agricultural crop, and it's now. I mean, I'm going up against, um, it's, it's being voted and judged that I'm going up against basil, mint, oregano, etc., etc. So orchards, um, plants like that. Um, 
So, I mean, I'm hoping cannabis does actually get a win. It really does deserve it. It's, an 100, it's, it's 111 years that it's been running. And, wow. and yes. And what do you, is there any, have you got specific strains in mind? Have you got something that's really personal to you? Or are you just putting like two different ducker bushes up because nobody would know the difference? Yeah, well, uh, personally, I've had a, a, a very bad year growing and um, only a couple of plants. And the two that I thought of entering was Blue Dream from Humboldt yeah. and then um, um, original um, DJ Shorts Blueberry. Um, and they're quite unique plants in, in, in many ways. I'm going to send you pictures. I'm going to try and live feed you or, or just send you a video of it in the home and garden section on display. Um, because yeah, they're, they're beautiful strains. Um, and hopefully they get the exposure they deserve. So how big are these plants? How, are they ready to rock? Are you about to trim them? They're all in flower, yes. They're all in flower. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're probably about that size, a metre and, a meter and a half, um, just in pots, and I'm jazzing up the pots and <laughs> putting um, um, a whole oh. bunch of... In, in the display cabinets, I'm putting a whole bunch of hemp products um, through Hemptons. We're going to do some hemp date balls um, for the judges to eat and, and try a bit of hemp themselves and in there there's going to be some um, hemp string, um, um, hemp herd um, and also more importantly some, some cannabis seeds that, that will um, probably go on, uh, on not on auction because nothing's for sale but uh, a giveaway uh, on the day if you if you tag tag yourself in the in the um, showroom where it's been shown. So it's a fully interactive experience then. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and teach a little bit about hemp, cannabis. And is there a hashtag for this? Have you thought of one yet? Hashtag cannabis promoter. One time, cool. I've got to get some sort of marketing out of this. Mm, cool. Well, um, we've... Um, <clears throat> I know Myrtle has sent you a package down that you'll receive shortly. Uh, with a whole bunch of our Know Your Rights documents, just in case there's a Thank couple of really much, there's a couple of really blazed tannies around that have just realised that the vicar's been spiking the muffins with THC or something. <laughs> so just in case the feds rock up and they try and bust the whole party, then the Know Your Rights guide number eleven is actually addressed to the cops. So there's pictures of muffins and all. I'll keep a book close to me. Yeah, do. Uh, we we want to um, we we'd love a bit of feedback of this. I think it's hilarious. I think it's really it could happen absolutely anywhere in South Africa, but where in a small town it would happen first, like yours. So it, it's like a bit of fun that everybody can normalise the plant. Take some pictures. Um, if you remember, if you ha hot box show with a hashtag, we'll find them every week. So mm. you stand yourself in line for maybe you get a hot box shirt. I don't know. Now he's been on the hot box. Now we have to send some him a good shirt. shirt. Definitely. I would love a hot box shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've just earned it. When I come, when I come to hot box, I'll get it. I'll come collect it myself. You must do that. Uh, today, is there any is there any way that we'd ever get to see you at four twenty this year? Farming's a bitch, I know. Again, yeah, again, Jules, it's it's always you know I do try, but I've always got some sort of feeble excuse not to get there. But <laughs> um, now with the chickens, the chicken eggs, and and hopefully a win that. Um, the agricultural show for both cannabis and, and chicken eggs. Right. Have you figured out what came first? <laughs> cannabis. 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 <laughs> well, not good answer, dude. Okay, well, let's we'll see you on the um, we're gonna, I'm going to obviously stay in touch with you and hear how it goes. It's, not, it's, it's, it's next month sometime. I think it's brilliant. We're going to put it out there as a blog post um, yep. that this is going to happen. Um, during the course of the week on the Fields of Green for All newsletter to get it out there to give other people an idea that this is a really cool way of normalising shit, isn't it? Yeah, man. isn't it just... Mm -hmm. so, it really is. Um, there's a, you can see there's a pe bunch of people on the live stream that are saying hello to you as well. There's yes. Warren there going, how's it, my brew, and stuff. So we're going to drop the call now. Uh, we're going to tag Cannabis Promoter, hashtag Cannabis Promoter, 420... What is it? 420 Promoter? Put it in the comments, dude. 20 promo, 20 promoter, something like that. Sorry, I forget too. Okay. <laughs> it must have been the long-term long abuse, long-term knocking on abuse of white rhino. Cool, my bro. Thanks, cool, thanks very much, Chris. I think Chris wins best t-shirt. Yeah, Definitely. that's a very cool t-shirt, bro. Thank you, thank you. Green RCs. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, just also like um, on the on the on the phone here, I just love to thank um, um, Green Smoke Room for seeds. I'm a deadly for seeds. Yes. The cells for the flyers and Hamptons. Fantastic hemp company for yeah. um, body and beauty products. Oh, That's all going to be on display, and there's going to be some fun things there. But no smoking, no buy. Uh, Warren, no. just for me. Warren's reminding you about the mulberry and the AK 47s from Nguni. He's a, old school. He was growing them long ago. Those mulberries, remember those? And what are you, the tribal yes, vision? Yes, absolute madness. And the tribal vision? Do you ever do tribal vision anymore? Tribal vision, that was, um, that was like in Nepalese, cross Congo, cross. Um, that was a flow. There was even flow in those genetics. Yeah, no, I remember it well. That's like, oh, that's a while back. That's probably six, seven years ago now. Easy. It was a really cool I'll still plant. I've got a couple of those seeds. Okay, well, you can Just put them couple. up. You could donate them as special gifts for the next raffle. So <laughs> if anybody can tell us who the first person was to write the first blog for the first online uh, news group for weed, then you can get two seeds of him. <laughs> <laughs> was it Jacob Zuma? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, nice talk to you, matey. Like a, listen in on the Jules, rest of it. Brian, Dan, Peace. Brian, thank you. Oh, yeah. Good to see you again, Ben. Keep well. I'll, I'll start trolling. I'll, I'll start trolling now. Hit it <laughs> hard. Go past, dude. Cheers, So I got to I got to get something up my head first because it's like one of those things you have to share. It's like he, he opened up really early on with he has to display his eggs at the show. <laughs> But he, he only brought the chicken thing in later. So I was, so what I was thinking the whole time, I just kept asking myself, does he have to display just these eggs or his eggs in his dick? What <laughs> <laughs> an existential question. Uh, Chris, um, Chris has been very um, entertaining for years. He's a good man. We do When we go into the Eastern Cape, we stay with him. And we've been watching pioneering this old beaten up plot and he's turned it into yeah. such a cool place. Yeah. There's an Airbnb on the side of it thing. There's a great little cottage and stuff. Mark Emery and I stayed there okay. and got completely blazed that night. And the dog we talked about didn't leave Mark Emery's side. So there's Mark Emery reading a, a history book and there's the dog sitting there. And it's like, we got this photograph of, it looks like Mark Emery's teaching Chris J's beagle uh, 17th century history book.